you know, they're playing that win or go home, and, and we're not. You know, in game six, we were playing, you know, not to lose, like Bruce said, and uh, it's, a, it's a hard mentality to get into because nobody really can get there until your back's against the wall. So, um, luckily for us, it's, it's, everyone's against the wall now. It's, uh, it's do or die now, and uh, we've got to be ready to go. Hello, this is Jeff Miller. I'm here with Mark Wicker on the eve of Game 7, the Ducks and the Red Wings. Wick, what do you think is the most important thing going into the game tomorrow night? What what will be the one thing that you'll be looking for to determine that game? I think it's, it's whoever comes out early and, and sets a tone. You know, the crowd's going to be pretty wild here, but I think there's probably going to be a little anxiety too because uh, th th there's been four overtime games in this series and the Red Wings have won three of them. In fact, they haven't won a regulation game. And so I think there's there's going to be a little anxiety in the building. I think most people feel that this series probably should have been over already. And uh, they're looking for the Ducks to go out and make a statement early in this game and, and get that all-important first goal, although the second, third, and fourth goals wouldn't be too bad either for them. And uh, I think the, they're, looking for, they're looking for a really robust first period out of the Ducks. I, I agree. I think the start is going to be really important. I've asked a couple of players today. They've sort of downplayed it, but I think the start is going to be enormous. And I think the... Uh, uh, just with the crowd, and I think I think you're right. I think there's if there's pressure on one of these teams, I think it's on the Ducks. Don't you agree? I think so because the way the series has gone, you know, the Red Wings have had this great history, and, and they still have some Hall of Fame players in their team. And they're it's dangerous when you have a team with that type of pedigree that it now perceives themselves to be the underdog. They can play loose and free, and the fact that they were able to pull that game out last night uh, with that goal by Zetterberg. Uh, probably gives them even more confidence. That they know that a lot of people aren't expecting them to win. And there's another factor here. Everybody in Southern California is aching to see this Dutch Kings here. And I know the players are probably not uh, thinking about it too much, but there's going to be a lot of disappointment if fans don't get to see that because it's something that's never happened before. And everybody realizes what it would mean to this area. Exactly. I was at the Kings game last night, and the Kings afterward were talking about the possibility, so they're already thinking about it. So, tomorrow night, What's going to happen in this uh, game seven? You know, I think the Ducks are probably going to find a way to win because I think home home game seven. I think that's when the home advantage really kicks in. I know that not too many uh, teams have won game sevens on the road. Unfortunately, a couple of teams, coached by Bruce Boudreaux, have lost game sevens on, at home. But uh, I think that that's really where the home advantage kicks in. I think the crowd is probably going to be as wild as it's ever been. And uh, you know, but really, it's just a coin flip if you've watched this series. This could be the fifth overtime game in this series, and that's only happened twice before in the history of the Stanley Cup playoff. All right, well, just to be different, I'm going to take the Red Wings. I don't know why, other than the fact that Wick picked the, uh, picked the Ducks, so we'll go with the Wings. That's probably a good reason. <laughs>